It takes a lot to put a building together, but a lot more to have a building named after you. A stone's throw away from Little Milledgeville, W.J. Usry Jr. was born and raised in the town of Hardwick. The famed alumni graduated from Georgia Military College. Little did his fellow graduates know, Usry would go on to make accomplishments that would cement his name at GMC for years to come. Throughout Usry's life, he accomplished many things and was known as an expert at settling labor disputes. He held many important positions in his lifetime, like being the first Georgian to serve as Secretary of Labor in 1976. Before Usry went on to be an important political figure, he worked as an underwater welder building Liberty ships. Then, once World War II began, there was a desperate need for naval welders. Usry stepped up and answered the call, and enlisted in the United States Navy. Following World War II, Usry went to work with Armstrong Cork Company as a machinist, where he helped co-found Local Lodge 8 of the International Association of Machinists. Eventually, Usry was elected president of the local union. After retiring from Armstrong Cork, Usry then went on to become the union representative of the President's Missile Site Labor Commission, where he was responsible for leading labor negotiations and helping administer and service union contracts at NASA bases such as Cape Canaveral and the John F. Kennedy Space Center. In 1969, President Richard Nixon nominated Usry as the Assistant Secretary of Labor, where he oversaw the implementation and enforcement of the Labor Management Reporting and Disclosure Act. Usry even helped write and implement Executive Order 11491, which gave union organizing rights to two million federal government workers. During his time as Assistant Secretary of Labor, Usry was instrumental in averting several large strikes, one of those being the U.S. Postal Service strike of 1970. During the presidential election of 1976, President Gerald Ford, who nominated Usry to be the United States Secretary of Labor, lost the election to Jimmy Carter. Carter then decided to replace Usry, making that the last time Usry worked in public service. Usry lived on to accomplish numerous achievements until 11 days from his 93rd birthday. He passed away peacefully after a long and healthy life full of adversity and the rewards that arose from it.